Hello, language learners. I want to talk to you today about something cool that I'm trying out in my favorite flashcard program, Anki. Um, and I'm calling it importing uh, type in closed deletion cards with audio. And I'll explain what that means in a minute. Uh, but first, I wanted to say if you're watching live, um, go ahead and pop it in the chat, say hi. Uh, I'll answer any questions you have. Uh, if you're watching this later in the recording, um, excuse me saying um a lot, and uh, ask questions in the comments, and uh, I'll, I'll try to respond as uh, quickly as I can. Um, so what am I talking about type in closed deletion cards? So those of you who are familiar with Anki are probably aware that you can make a type of card called a closed deletion. And what that is, is the flashcard displayed will take out a word or a phrase and you have to guess or remember what that word or phrase is. And what I'm doing is I'm combining that with the ability to type in the answers. So you have to remember by typing in, which I I believe will strengthen that memory every time you do this repetition, even stronger than just reviewing and looking at it, or even maybe saying it out loud. Um, but with that, uh, I find that my flashcards that have audio in them are more fun for me to go through than just straight reading text. And it also gives you practice listening to what these words sound like. And then what I'm also going to do is importing them in mass. So we're not going one at a time and then setting a closed deletion for each individual word. Instead, this is going to be done in an almost automatic fashion. So the first thing we need to do is set up our cards in Anki. And we go to Tools and Manage Note Types. Now I've already created it here. It's called Close Type In. Uh, and I'll show you what that looks like real quick. First of all, you need three fields. You have text, extra, and hint. And the way I actually made this was I created a clone of this Close Type. So I say Add Clone. Find it here, close. Then I say OK and close copy. I'm not going to go through the steps because it's here, but it's going to, because it will cause me to have to resync my whole flashcard database. And uh, I have a lot of flashcards, so it, uh, that takes a while. Oh, I did it anyway. Never mind. We'll delete that. <laughs> and this is what I'm talking about. So I'm going to have to do it anyway. But let me show you what this looks like. So, like I said, we have the three fields. Text and extra came with the close type. So I added another one called hint. And what hint is going to be, uh, for these cards that I'm making, it's actually going to be the uh, the English translation of, of the card, of the foreign language text. And the reason for that is, um, uh, my goal is not to memorize the sentences, but rather to see the hint, to know what I'm trying to say. And I'll have the sentence there with all but one word missing. And so I need to type in that one word. Well, you know, sometimes it's a pronoun like he or she, and it's not always obvious without the English version there. So that, that's what that's for. So the other thing we have to do is the cards. So when you, when you first get a closed card, You'll have this line, and then on the back side, you'll have that same line, and then extra down here. What I've added is this part here, type close text. So we're actually seeing that the, the close text here, and that shows this part here. It's the phrase with the word missing. And this type part means this is where I'm going to type in where that missing word is. 
and the hint is going to be the text in English. And then on the back side, it's closed text again, but this time it'll be the full answer. And the same thing here, it'll be what you typed in compared to what the answer is. And then what extra is, is I'm at, that's where I'm actually going to be putting in the audio file. So even though you're comparing, you know, you're typing in, even if you're not exact, if you're close, you, um, you're still doing the usual thing in Anki where you're rating yourself on how well you did. Uh, do you need to do it again? Was it hard? Was it okay? Or was it easy? So once you have that set up, what you need then is obviously your text and your audio. So if we go over here, and you can see that uh, I've started learning Icelandic. This is a dialogue from chapter one in colloquial Icelandic. And I've already extracted the sound into different files, and I've already put them in the, uh, the Anki media collection. Um, I'm not going to cover that in this in this uh, video, but uh, if, uh, if you watch my talk at the Polyglot gathering from 2016 about Anki, I describe exactly how you go through that process, and I'll, I'll be sure to put a link to that in the description. So what you see in this spreadsheet is column A with the Icelandic text column B with the English, column C has the format to get the sound file into the card for Anki. Um, column D you could pretty much ignore. It's basically how I got the this number at the end of the file because you can see this is a formula. It, it made it so I could just copy paste this and I'm not editing each one individually. So the trick with importing closed deletions is that you have to put a special format around each word and that manually is very very te tedious. So what I've done is I've created this quick little program. I wrote it in about 10 minutes. It's uh, uh, wrote it in C sharp if, if you're interested. Uh, I can share that code later. It, it's really, really simple in, in the way it works. Um, but what it essentially does is I take all the text here and I copy that in the clipboard and then I paste it into this program. And the output over here is each line is going to be its own card and it's going to, and it has those closed deletion tags around every single word. So I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to put it into column E of the spreadsheet here. All right, and so the next step is then to download this as a tab separated values file. All right, and you, you can't see this part because it's off screen, but I'm uh, I'm moving the file to where I, I typically import files in Anki. You would think I would have this set up beforehand, but no, I do not. Okay, that file is now there. So we go back over to Anki. And I open up the deck and I hit Control I to import, or there's also file, import, but I'm used to the keyboard shortcut, I hit control I. So the name of that file was Colloquial Icelandic Velkomen to Islands. Obviously, I don't speak Icelandic yet. So now, the type of card I was making before is one that I've covered in that, that talk at the Polyglot Gathering where I have, um, where I generate three different cards out of each row from a spreadsheet, um, all of them involving audio and just in various orders. We're not going to use that one here. We're going to use the new closed type in 
type that, I, that we just made. All right, and so field one is text. That should be, you guys like, this is actually, we're not gonna use field one for this. We're gonna use field five, which was column E, and that's where all the closed, the closed deletion tags are. Okay, so extra is going to be the audio, and that was column three, column C. Um, and you know, if you can help it, it's easier if you put things in the right order in your spreadsheet in the first place. I didn't do that because I was modifying an existing spreadsheet. Oh well. All right, so where was I? Um, oh yes, the hint, which is gonna be the English text. That's two, and then I don't have any tags, so we'll ignore that. So we'll double check that. So column B is the hint, column C is the extra, and column E is the, the closed deletion text. So that looks good. We're going to import. If you're twice in the file, oh, and I think that's because I have the the title of the dialogue along, I think that line appears again in the dialogue itself. So that's okay, no big deal. All right, there are more new cards. Daily limit has been reached. All right, so just to demonstrate, we're going to increase this new card limit. Okay, so yeah, now you guys get to see me fail at remembering any Icelandic at all. Right, so, Velkommen to Islands. I don't remember how it's spelled, so let me guess. So as you can see, we have the the word missing from the sentence. That's what I have to type in here. Here it is in English. Hit enter. Velkommen to Islands. Um, and then you hear the audio and a Apparently I spelled it right. Yay me. Alright. I'm okay. The Leif Erikson Airport Temple. So I believe this is this word here. Owl. Au Flugstöð Leifs Eriksonar. Au Flugstöð Leifs Eriksonar. And I do try to verbalize it. Um which is, you know, sometimes well, my family doesn't give me funny looks anymore when they see me do it. They're used to me doing this, um, but you can imagine I don't. I don't do that in public. Um, good afternoon. I remember it being something like Golden Dain. How do I type this on the keyboard? Golden. Golden Dain. Close. So I got the vowels wrong. Um, if this were a card that I was reviewing, I would say again, but since a um, brand new card, I'll hit good because I'm going to do it again. And we'll do this one as well. Having learned our lesson here. Go up and Call on tag. All right. And then I'm going to stop there. So that's, that's all I wanted to show you. Um, you know, please, uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment or follow me on Instagram at Peter underscore Rhino Spike or on Twitter at Peter J. Carroll. Uh, send me a note, ask me questions, tell me what you think. Um, if you like the video, click like on YouTube. If, if you want to see more like this, subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you. Have a good evening and uh, happy language learning.